I am Chelsea, and I'm my mother is from Rwanda and my father is from Mali, and I grew up in Tanzania and now I'm living in Montreal, Canada. Um, both my parents are Cameroonian. I was born in the States, and then I spent um, nine years in Cameroon, and then uh, eight years in Tanzania, and now I'm in Canada. And um, w where? Where is home for you? Home, I think I would be comfortable to say that home for me is Tanzania because I lived in Tanzania for about 13 years and I'm like I was born in Mali then we left to go to Rwanda but like I was still a baby so I didn't really get to you know live there properly then we went to Tanzania where I did uh, primary school and high school most of my high school there and then yeah, so I feel like home to me is Tanzania because I'm comfortable there. Yeah, um, Tanzania holds a special place in my heart. And um, just like recently I started missing it so much. Like whenever I think of home, I'm like Tanzania. I never <laughs> really think, like I, I'm a proud Cameroonian, but then this Tanzania is just, you know, has a huge, huge impact right. on my life. Um, it's like you said, when you left um, Mali, you were a kid, right? Yeah. Because Cameroon was like my first nine years, and out of those nine years, I only remember like a tiny portion. Yeah. But Tanzania is where like, whew. Yeah, everything happened. <laughs> you were the life, like, yeah. life really hit in Tanzania, man. Yeah, yeah. Really did. And like, I also feel like, because I don't speak Bambara, and like I didn't really, I never used to go as often as I should have been going to Mali. So I really do not feel like I identify myself as Malian, even though I'm supposed to identify myself as a Malian. And I feel more comfortable in the eastern part of Africa than I am in the western part, because you know I adapted to the culture and I apply the culture even right now in my life. So you know I feel more East African than West African. But then what does it say on your passport? Ah, in my passport? I have two passports. I have a Rwandan passport and I have a Malian passport, so... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I feel weird. Um, but when when people ask where you're from, what do you say? I say in Rwanda because I'm afraid that if you people ask me, are you from Mali? And I don't know nothing about it. So <laughs> I'm more comfortable to say I'm from Rwanda than I am with Mali. Okay, yeah. Because... When people ask me where I'm from, I say I'm Cameroonian, right? Just just like that. I'm, like, yeah. I'm from Cameroon. And then um, they see my passport and they're like, no, you're American. Yeah. Like, I've actually had some people, like, even back home in yeah. um, Tanzania, um, you know, I would say something and be like, oh, I'm a proud Cameroonian. And then yeah. someone would be like, no, you're American. Like, calm yeah. down. <laughs> but part of me feels like, wants to say I'm Tanzanian. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right? Yeah. But I also feel like I'm not entitled to just put myself in a country <laughs> and be like, I'm from there. Exactly. Right? Because yeah, at yeah. the same time, so, so much of my culture is still Cameroonian. Yeah. But like, man, Tanzania is home. I know, like, truly, I understand what you're coming from. Because like, I also like, when I'm talking to my mom and my family, like, I'm comfortable to say that, you know, home is... Tanzania, and like when people say, like my parents are like, oh, you should come back home, and they, like my mom lives in Rwanda and stuff, and I'm like, yeah, like I'm not too excited to go back to Rwanda, but like Tanzania, hey, I want to go. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I miss it so much. <laughs> but yeah, and the thing is, because um, my mom moves around a lot as well, right? Yeah. And basically, home to me is wherever my mother is, because yeah. I know, like, because right now she's in Congo, yeah. and whenever. I say I'm going home. People are like, "Oh, you're coming to Tanzania," and I'm like, "No, I'm I'm going to Congo." Like, <laughs> home for me moves everywhere. Yeah, and it's it's really weird. I don't, because a lot of people have this one place that they feel is home, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, wherever I am right now, I am right. okay because I know it's not gonna be permanent. So I'm like, that's home for now. Yeah, I guess. So you just have to adapt, I guess, to. The yeah. But do you, do you ever feel like at some point, um, Tanzania will stop being home? Because uh, like before, Rwanda was home, right? No. 
<laughs> no one has never been home to me. I just used to go there. <laughs> no, because honestly, okay, look, because every time I used to go to Rwanda, it would just be like me seeing family and like I didn't have like friends, friends. But in Tanzania, I have friends. I know the whole of Arusha. Like, you cannot, I cannot get lost and I can speak Kiswahili fluently. And in Rwanda, like, I used to go and like, I don't even know nowhere in Rwanda. Like, I used to always hang out with my grandma and stuff and like I'd be bored most of the time. So, I never really used to, I can't really say I used to like going to Rwanda like that, because I don't know people like that. Maybe, like like you said, like, maybe uh, Tanzania won't forever be home, because now my, my parents don't live in Rwanda, I mean Tanzania, so now I have to keep home. I have to go to Rwanda more than I go to Tanzania. So maybe eventually Rwanda will be home, but right now, as of now, I really feel in my heart that Tanzania is home to me. Because when I first moved from mm-hmm. Cameroon, I really, really, really missed it. Like Cameroon was all I knew, and I was mm-hmm. like, "Why am I going to this new country?" Yeah. Right. And then fast forward a few years, and I'm like, <laughs> "What Cameroon?" Right. Yeah. Take me back home to Tanzania. Yeah. And I, I, I went to school in Cameroon, so I have friends there, and if I go back, I will meet some people, and you know, mm-hmm. but. Tanzania, you know. Yeah. Whenever you tell anybody, oh, I'm coming home for summer, I said I'm going to Arusha. Yeah. Yo, it, it it just it goes crazy. Yeah. And the thing, I don't know if it's <sighs> Tanzania. Is, I, I don't have family there, right? Yeah. Because it was just um, me and my mom. Yeah. But it feels. I think what makes it feel even more like home is because it was so small, mm-hmm. and we all knew each other. Right. It got to the point where. My friends are a bit more than friends. Yes. You know, like I made friends here and I'm like, I really like you guys. But right. My friends from Tanzania are just like, you know, it's home. You feel like that type of like comfortability with them. And- um, but do you, how do you feel when people ask where you're from? Like, when people ask me where I'm from, like, I do hesitate on saying I'm from Tanzania, but at the same time, I'm like, no, I don't have the right to say I'm from Tanzania. I don't know why I feel like I. I don't have the right to, so I'm just like, okay, I'm just saying, I'm not dead. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, because, um, me, when people ask me, I feel, I don't know, I get a bit annoyed, right? Because whenever people ask me, they realize that I get annoyed and they're like, why, what's happening? <laughs> and it's just because I feel like it's 30 minutes of me having to go through, yeah. I'm technically from here, but I feel like I'm from here. Right. And at the same time, I can't say that I'm Tanzanian because mm-hmm. I'm not. So, but Tanzania is home, so yeah. I'm just like, well, you know, it's a long story, right? And I'm like, yeah, I'm from Cameroon. And then another thing is because sometimes I like to say I'm African, yeah, and then people get people get offended and they're like, Africa's not a country, name one specific country, yeah. But the reason that I don't like to say a country is because I really, a lot of me, like. Tanzania is like yeah. in me, right? Right. And so it's Cameroon. So I feel like because I can't just say I'm Tanzania just like that. Mm-hmm. I just say Africa because I feel like home. Like now I'm. I said home is in Congo now, right? Yeah. So I just feel like there's so many countries. So I just yeah. like to say Africa because like that makes it <laughs> a lot easier for me. Right. But then people go, oh, you have to name a specific country. Mm-hmm. So then I say Cameroon, but at the same time I feel like. Don't you feel like you're taking away a bit of yourself when yeah, you say exactly. another country? Yeah, uh, it's true. I do feel like that because, like, I really do want to say I'm Tanzanian because, like, I don't really, I don't, know, I don't really identify myself as a Rwandan or a Malian because maybe because I haven't lived in those countries, so I don't. Know, I just you know like that feeling. You, you know, like home is like normally the place where you're. And you're at ease and where your heart lies, you feel like you're very comfortable, you can do whatever, you know, because your home will always accept you. And I feel like sometimes when I do some things, like Grandins won't accept it or Malians won't accept it, but Tanzania yeah, will sure do accept it, you know? Yeah, definitely, because I feel like, mm-hmm. well, maybe this is just me, but another thing with Cameroon is like people, family will judge you, yeah. right? But in Tanzania, because it's mostly my friends, mm-hmm. it's like, they're not gonna judge me because they're probably doing the same thing or feeling yeah. the same way. So that's why I feel a lot more comfortable in Tanzania because I can do what I want mm-hmm. and I can relate to people. Mm-hmm. But then once I go to Cameroon, it's like, mm-hmm. 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 why are you doing this? Exactly. And like, do do you don't you feel like the reason I feel I feel like that the reason we don't know where we belong to is because in Tanzania, 
We were never asked where you're from. Did you think of that? <laughs> like in Irish, everybody, okay. I'm not being racist or anything, like, because here, like, there's a lot of cultures, so people look different, but I think we all are, look the same, pretty much the same, so I feel like we were never asked, like, where are you from? Arusha is home on so <laughs> many levels. I just, and whenever I see on my Facebook, because Tanzania mm-hmm. is a beautiful country, right? Yeah, it is. Sure. So a lot of my Tanzanian friends always post stuff about how Tanzania is voted the eighth most beautiful place on the planet. Mm-hmm. I get so proud. Yeah, me too, yeah. <laughs> That is actually, because like, you know, I get asked a lot about, you know, because like, I'm from, uh, I'm from part Rwandese and like, people always ask me, you know, what about the genocide, this, this, that, and like, I can't explain it because I never really went through it, so, and like, honestly, for me, well, the genocide obviously was a bad thing, but I don't know how to explain it, I don't know how to tell people, and, but I'm really, if you ask me about Tanzania, yo, I'm pulling that down, all of Tanzania history, but I can't pull you up for this history. That's true. Um, the way, I find that Tanzania has, I don't know about you, but it's, it's changed the way I act. Like, it's changed my identity, obviously, because yeah. that's what happens, right? Mm-hmm. But the way, like, for instance, the way that I make new friends and the way that I categorize my relationships now. Yeah. It's completely different. Because, like, you know, like, I make friends here, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I really like you, we're friends, yeah. you have this in common. But the friends from Tanzania, I feel like the ones that I have kept, yeah, I feel like that friendship will never die. Right. You know? Like, um, some of us haven't seen each other in three plus years. Mm-hmm. And, like, I don't feel like I need to see you anymore. Yeah. I'm just, like, we're that close, we're to right. that level that... I don't see you, but we can still talk every day. Mm-hmm. So, how how do you feel being a third culture kid? Um, I feel like I'm privileged okay. because I got to experience different countries. And like here, most of the people haven't even left Canada here. So when I I think like I have the privilege to have known a couple of countries and also know and make a uh, another country home. So I feel like if I if I was to be born again tomorrow, I, I really do not regret having Tanzania as home. So you, you don't feel like because it's very very hard for you to define home, mm-hmm. you're you're at a disadvantage because I know sometimes, mm-hmm. like I don't want to take any of this back, but I'm just like the fact that sometimes I sit down when I hear other people talk and I'm like, mm-hmm. where is home for me? And then I feel <laughs> it feels weird for me because I'm like. Based on based on the definitions of home that I've heard from other people, yeah. my doesn't fit in the same place. Okay. So like, oh, where do I fit in? <laughs> and exactly. I think I feel like it's it's cool. Actually, I really feel like it's cool to have this confusion where I do not know okay. where home is. Cause I really, cause like I feel like as I grow, then eventually I will have to, I will understand one day maybe where home is. Cause right now home is to me Tanzania even though I'm not from there and I love it so I'm happy with that so I don't think it's a bad thing I think it's a privilege actually to have lived in such a beautiful country okay and and also I feel like I have two cultures in me yeah right and because um Cameroon we have like in West Africa yeah we have um jollof rice Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. and then in Tanzania we have pilau, yeah. and I'm like I know these two things exactly, right? And I feel like I have two not two cultures in me where one of them is like a lot of story. And like I don't speak mm-hmm. Swahili, but I understand it. Mm-hmm. You know, like I have the small words that everybody knows. So I feel like I have that culture in me, but I also have the Cameroonian culture in me. Right. So not only can I connect to different people on different levels, but then mm-hmm. I'm like. One one culture, <laughs> and yeah. and now we're in Montreal, so okay. this is a completely different one. Regardless of whether we think Montreal is home or not, it's mm-hmm. still really, I guess, it's still really affecting us. Yeah.